Okay, in this video we will talk about how to add a rubric to a writing assignment. First step is to create the assignment. So we'll go to Create Assignment. Um, we'll do Essay About um, Vaccinations. So um, should uh, we get vaccinated or not? write an essay. I'm sure I should write more details, but this is just an example. All right, and you can then decide how many points, you know, like let's say it's worth 100 points. Um, the due date, the topic, so let's put it under week one, I suppose. And then uh, right here, it says rubric, and you can add a plus rubric. So let's click on that. Um, and I'm going to try to reuse a rubric. I've created rubrics in other Google Classroom classes. Let's see if it allows me to do that. No rubrics found for this course. Okay, so I can't import rubrics from another course. Let's see. Oh, here I can. Academic writing or research skills and methods. Let's just use that one. So I have, let's say that I have this individual project one right here. I'll just click on that one. Now this one is worth 200 points. So let's just Let's just say I changed this just for the sake of making it simple for us today. 200 points. Um, and then I can view that rubric if I want, and it shows the different ways that the grading is broken down. All right, so I can assign it right there. I have now assigned it. Let's go to the student side, and we will just, um, uh, we will do this essay quickly. I'll just add an add a um, I'll just add something so that it's done. All right, we're going to turn it in. We're not checking for plagiarism, even though we should, just in the interest of time. All right, so now back to the teacher view essay on vaccinations. One student has turned it in. Um, I can click on it there and open it, and I can read it as it pops up right here. I can read it, I can comment on it. Um, now, over here on the right side, you can see it gives me my rubric um, grading criteria. So for example, task completion, and I can give them 30 points or 50 or whatever, depending on what I think um, they have, how well they've done. The same for these different parts here, I can, uh, you know, and it automatically pops up the rubric part. If I want more detail, I can click on that and it gives me the description of each kind of um, grading level within the rubric. Same for each of these right here. Um, if I want to, uh, you know, make a comment, I can, you know, highlight a word and say, you know, fix your spelling or whatever you want to do on that or good point or great job, whatever I want to say there. And the students can see those comments. So after I have, um, you know, chosen my different uh, rubric um, grades, then I can return it. Now, if, I, if the rubric is not perfect, like let's say I think the student should get a 132 instead of a 130, you can just change it manually. That's okay. You're not like forced to use the rubric exactly as you created it. All right. If you have any general comments, you can add it at the end here also, like... Great job, much improved. You can do that. Um, so anyway, I've graded it using this rubric and then I hit return and the student can see my um, grade. So I'll go back to the student view quickly. Here it is, let's refresh it. Good, and they can see my total grade, they can see how, how the, I was graded, they were graded on the rubric, they can see my comments, they can open this and see my other comments. All right, and that is how to add a rubric to a writing assignment.